What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. And in this video, we're gonna do something a little different today. We're looking at the FIO EH3 noise canceling Bluetooth headphones. Now there's a few things to go over, so I'll begin while I'm undoing the unboxing here. First of all, the price is between currently between around 177 to 200 dollars on AliExpress, depending on which store you buy from. Um, so we've got Bluetooth 5.0. These support uh, all the popular high-res Bluetooth formats, including aptX. Um, aptX HD, aptX low latency and LDAC. They do of course have active noise cancelling and they have a rated battery life of up to 50 hours of playtime on a single charge which is pretty awesome. You can also use these wired with the included 3.5mm cable. Let's get inside and take a look. Oops, oh shit. Oh shit. That happens. Okay. It's a bit of a puzzle. It's, it's a puzzle for the mentally challenged like myself. Aha, uh -huh. ooh. All right, so you get a nice, you get this nice uh, semi-rigid carrying case. Oh, look at this. So interesting, carry case has got this little uh, nylon see-through pocket on the back. I guess you can keep your accessories in there. Let's take our first look here. Oh, that's nice. Obviously they fold, there's a little separator there to uh, stop them from banging into each other. Here is the USB Type-C cable. Here is the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. And the headphones. That is shiny. That's very shiny. We've got a carbon fiber pattern on the side there. Ooh. Of course, got your Playback controls down here, active noise cancelling switch, the power switch, playback controls there, USB type C port there. They're actually very light, uh, feels like the clamping force is, is nice and light as well, they're not going to really grip your head too, too strongly. Nice firm clicky action going on with the uh, size adjustments there. Swiveling, uh, swiveling ear pads and they move that way as well. So these are probably going to be super comfortable. Nice padding on the headband. Left and right indicators on the inside. And wow, they, they feel great. They're, they're plastic, feel pretty light. Um, no creaking or no noise or anything. We'll just have to, only time will tell how durable they are, but they feel pretty good so far. All right, so I've been using these for, uh, gee, about a couple of weeks already. I'm a bit late with this review, but let's get to it. Uh, so what I've discovered about these headphones is that they're super comfortable and great for long listening sessions. The uh, nice padding on the headband here, nice soft ear pads, clamping force is nice and light and they're really lightweight, so excellent comfort factor. The Bluetooth stability and connection is phenomenal on these. I've had, I've experienced no dropouts, no cutouts, no disconnections, anything like that. Just really solid Bluetooth performance. I can walk all around my house without losing a signal, you know, unless I go right to the, the furthest corner or actually go outside before they cut out on me. 
The call quality is good as well on these. The microphone nice and clear when you're talking to people. Um, I actually, I tested these headphones with several different sources. I tested them with my Android smartphone and with the Fio M5 and M6 DAPs. All of them worked great. Pairing was flawless on everything. The active noise cancelling works really well, uh, particularly for sort of droning constant low pitch noises. So it's really good for engine noise. I haven't tried them on a plane, on a flight, but I imagine they would be excellent for that. But on the bus or on the car, they're really good. They can, the ANC will cut out the noise of fans or air conditioners and things like that really well. If people are talking or sort of abrupt, particularly uh, high pitched noises, that will cut through. But otherwise the ANC performance is really good. In terms of sound quality, the EH3NC has the sort of tuning you'd expect for a portable Bluetooth headphone. They have a warm tonality, they're full bodied with a fairly relaxed treble and slightly elevated bass. I found that using them wired with the included 3.5mm uh, cable yielded, yielded the best results in terms of sound. When using them wired, the sound is actually quite balanced and surprisingly resolving, better than I expected from a Bluetooth headphone. In wireless mode, the sound is fuller and has more emphasis on the bass. This makes the sound stage a little bit smaller, but the headphones still perform really well. One thing to note about the EH3NC is that when the active noise cancelling is turned on, the sound does change quite noticeably. The overall volume increases, the bass becomes more elevated, plus the vocals and the mid-range um, become kind of boxy and congested a little bit. The good news is that um, the effects of the ANC on the sound can be mitigated somewhat with equalizer settings in the Fio Music app or in your DAP settings if, they, if it supports EQ. Um, it's a bit disappointing, but it's not a deal breaker. The headphones sound great, they just don't sound as great when you're using noise cancelling. That's pretty common. The bass is surprisingly tight and fast, especially when using the wired mode. It's only mildly elevated and it's fairly balanced with the mids and the treble. The sub bass has a fast controlled rumble that delivers with authority and impact when necessary. Uh, there should be enough in terms of quantity to satisfy most people, but they're, they're not a bass head headphone. The mid range has a fairly neutral tuning with a touch of warmth coming through from the mid bass. Clarity is good. It's neither sharp or dull, but it's natural sounding with good detail and vocal articulation. Instruments like guitars and trumpets are quite forward in the mix, with the vocals positioned a little further back, um, which adds more depth to the stage. Vocals are emotive and have a natural tone. Both male and female voices are well represented, neither is favoured over the other. The vocals have good detail, but they also sound rich and smooth. They don't have any graininess to them whatsoever. And for the treble, I kind of expected a somewhat muted treble, which is common for Bluetooth headphones, but these are actually pretty perky in the upper registers. The treble is slightly tamed in the, in the lower treble to avoid sibilance and, and uh, burnout, but it extends well and has a solid upper treble performance. They have a, a well-tuned treble that's smooth and good for long listening sessions, but still have enough detail and airiness to keep the sound uh, lively and clear. For a closed back headphone, the EH3NC creates fairly spacious and natural soundstage with equally good width and depth. 
Imaging and positional cues are pretty solid too, creating a somewhat uh, holographic stage with, with accurate details and good pinpoint accuracy. In Bluetooth mode, the stage is smaller with more warm air filling the spaces, but it's not too far from what you get in wired mode. Uh, however, when you turn on the active noise cancelling, the stage gets a little bit stuffy and congested. But apart from that, really good. So in conclusion, I think the FIO EH3NC is a really nice headphone. It sounds good. It's really comfortable. And the Bluetooth connection is rock solid. In addition, the battery life is phenomenal and you get some nice extra functionality via the FIO Music app. If you want more details on those things, check out the full written review. There's a link in the description. Overall, I think these are a sweet headphone. Good value for money. Uh, so they get a rec recommendation from me. So what do you think about the FIO EH3NC, are you going to get a pair of these for yourself? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you have already got a pair, let me know what you think about them. Do you agree with my evaluation? Any, anything I miss, let us know in the comments. And that is about it for this video. So guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this in the future, and until next time, see you later.